electric charges and fields on the topic la the questions paakalam paakringa figure 1.33 shows tracks of three charged particles in a uniform electrostatic field give the sign of the three charges which particle has the highest charge to mass ratio so in this question they asked us to find sign of the charges this first charge and the second charge third charge this charge is sign they asked and also they asked us to find ratio of the charge to mass that means specific charge they are asking let us assume here three charged particles are projected initially horizontal direction that means along x axis so that the initial velocity along y axis is zero and see here this is positive plate this is negative plate this positive plate will attract negative charges and this negative plate will attract positive charges here first charge and the second charge are deflected towards positive plate so that this first charge and the second charge supposed to possess negative sign of the charges and this third third charge was attracted by negative plate so that third charge must be positive sign so we have understood that sign of the first charge is negative and the sign of the second charge is negative third charge is attracted by negative plate so that third charge sign is positive and we assume here that all the charges are projected horizontally with the same velocity u in y direction it is velocity in x direction let us assume u y direction initial velocity is zero now these charges are attracted by this positive plate and negative plate so that these charges are deflected by some distances we assume here so if we if you take this vertical line this is the horizontal line this second charge is deflected by y2 amount and the first charge is deflected in y direction is y1 we assume this third charge is deflected along the y axis is y3 let us take here in this diagram we assume that y3 is more than y1 and y2 the equation for deflection in y direction is here particles are moving under constant acceleration along y direction because electric field set up from positive plate to negative plate this electric field will exert force on the charges the force exerted by the electric field on the moving charge is equal to e into q according to newton's second law force is equal to mass into acceleration if we equate this equation 1 and 2 we can get ma is equal to e into q from this acceleration of this charge particle along y axis is equal to eq by m now we take equation of motion from that displacement s is equal to ut plus half a d square if you take this equation for y direction so y direction displacement y direction initial velocity y direction acceleration we take here initial velocity along y direction is zero so the displacement along y direction is y that is equal to half into acceleration we take as a eq by m eq by m we take into t square here this t we can take as let us assume this charged particles are traveling all the particle travel along x direction some l distance we assume they travel these particle traveled with velocity along x axis is u distance traveled is l and the time taken t and the acceleration along x axis is zero because in x direction there is no field so that no force is acting so if we take displacement is equal to ut plus half a d square along x axis acceleration zero so displacement is l velocity is u and time t we can take here l all the particles travel same distance along x axis and all the particles are in the velocity same so the time is constant so we can take here time is constant time constant for all the particles same that means time is same and electric field also same for all the particle that means uh, this q by m charge by mass is proportional to we take for y charge uh, charge by mass ratio of charge and mass is directly proportional to y here for third particle charge by mass is greater so that the uh, highest charge to mass ratio is for third particle for third particle only charge per mass is greater we assume so in this question For 1.14, first particle is negative charge, second particle is negative charge, third particle is positive charge, and the charge to mass ratio is greater for third particle by considering 
deflection for third particle in y direction is greater than first particle and second particle. Now let us go to second sum. Consider a uniform electric field E is equal to 3 into 10 power 3 I Newton per Coulomb. I means it is in positive x axis. First one they are asking, what is the flux of this field through a square of 10 centimeter on a side whose plane is parallel to the y z plane? Second one is, what is the flux through the same square if the normal to its plane makes a 60 degree with the angle x axis? So now see, we are given that electric field intensity is 3 to 10 power 3 i cap. Now we have to find electric flux, flux through the square shape of side 10 centimeter in first case. In this case, the field is field and this plane is perpendicular is there. Second case, what is the flux through the same square if the normal to its plane makes 60 degree with the x-axis given? That means along x-axis only electric field is there and the normal is making 60 degree with the x-axis is given. That means angle between normal and the electric field is 60 degrees given. Now let us solve. First one see here. Let us take electric field along x direction is there. And here square plane in yz plane. Yz plane is there. This y axis, the z axis. That means normal is along perpendicular to the surface. Normal is also along the electric field. That means x direction. That means angle theta is equal to 0. Electric flux formula is electric flux formula is Ea cos theta. Ea cos theta. Here E is given 3 into 10 power 3. And the area is A square. A square is side square. Side is 10 centimeter. That means 10 into 10 power minus 2 whole square. Into cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. Now this is take here 3 into 10 power 3 as a 3 into 10 power 3. This is 3, 10 into 10 power minus 2 is 10 power minus 1. 10 power minus 1 whole square is 10 power minus 2 into 1. Now 10 power minus 2 into 10 power 3 is 10. So the 3 into 10 is 13. Here unit of electric flux is Newton meter square divided by Coulomb. So first one is completed. Let us solve second one. Second one is given that this this plane is making normal is 60 degree with x axis. Normal is making 60 degree with x axis given. That means angle between area this normal area and electric field is 60 degree. Now, in this case, flux is equal to Ea cos theta. Ea cos theta. Electric field intensity E is 3 into 10 power 3. Into area is 10 power, 10 into 10 power minus 2 whole square because side is given 10 centimeter into cos 60. Here, cos 60 is 1 by 2. Now, already we know that this 3 into 10 power 3 into 10 power minus 2 whole square, we got here 30. So, that 30 into 1 by 2. 30 into 1 by 2 is known as 15, 15 Newton meter square per coulomb. Unit of electric flux is Newton meter square per coulomb. So for this question, answer is 15 Newton meter square per coulomb is correct. Next question, say here. What is the net flux of the uniform electric field of exercise 1.15 through a cube of side 20 centimeter? oriented so that its faces are parallel to the coordinate planes. Listen here. We are here given that one cube. This is the cube. Now what is the electric flux through this cube they are asking as the field is uh, passes like this. This is the cube. Now in this case here field entering in this here left face area direction and the field directions are opposite angle is 180 degree theta equal to 180 degree so that flux is equal to ea cos theta ea cos theta means cos 180 is minus so that minus we take and in this face right face here area and the field are same direction is there so that angle between area and the field is theta equal to 0 degree so flux is equal to ea cos theta cos 0 is 1 so ea we are taking so flux leaving the surface is positive, flux entering the surface is negative. Here flux in this cube, flux entering the surface is equal to flux leaving the surface. So the total flux is equal to zero. Otherwise we can take according to Gauss law, flux through the closed surface is equal to Q, Q by epsilon naught. 
1 by epsilon naught times of total charge enclosed by the closed surface. In this cube, no charge is there. So, Q is equal to 0. So, that uh, 0 by anything is 0. Hence, flux through the closed surface is 0. Let us go to next sum. Careful measurement of the electric field at the surface of a black box indicates that the net outward flux through the surface of the box is 8 into 10 power 3 Newton meter square per coulomb. What is the net charge inside the box? If the net outward flux through the surface of the box were 0, could you conclude that there were no charges inside the box? Why or why not? In first question, they are given, given that flux through the closed surface is 8 into 10 power 3. Then what is the total charge inside the closed surface? In second case, net charge inside the box, in, in second case, net outward flux is 0 is given. Then what is the charge, total charge? And can you guess that a charge inside is there or not there as okay. So now see for first one, let us solve. First one, according to Gauss law, electric flux through the closed surface is equal to Q by epsilon naught, 1 by epsilon naught times of total charge enclosed by the closed surface. So total charge is equal to flux into epsilon naught. Now flux is equal to 8 into 10 power 3 is there. And epsilon naught value, we know that 8.85 into 10 power minus 12. So now by multiplying this 8 and 8.85, we will get as nearly, nearly 70. This 10 power 3 into 10 power minus 12, we can take as a 10 power minus 9. So this 10 power minus 9, we can write as a 10 power minus 3 to 10 power minus 6. So that 0 0.07 approximately. And the 10 power minus 6, we can take as a micro coulomb. So total charge enclosed by the closed surface approximately 0 0.07 micro coulomb. In second case, since flux is equal to 0, according to Gauss law, flux is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Q is equal to flux into epsilon naught is there. This flux is 0. So the total charge is equal to 0. But the charges may be there. Suppose if you consider this is the closed surface. So here plus 5 micro coulomb and here minus 5 micro coulomb may be there. So the total charge is equal to 0. So according to Gauss law, we can find out total charge closed by the surface only by knowing the flux through the surface. We can't find that the charge is separately is there or not. Let us go to next sum. A point charge 10 microcoulomb is a distance 5 centimeter above the center of a square of side 10 centimeter as shown in figure. What is the magnitude of the electric flux through the square? The square has one face of a cube with edge 10 centimeter. Now see here, we are given that one square plane. Above this square plane, 5 centimeter height, one charge is placed. Now we consider above this charge, 5 centimeter height, another plane, let us keep square plane. And left side one square plate, right side one square plate, and the front one, one square plate, back one square plate, so that it will be closed surface. It will become closed cube. In closed cube, it this charge is placed at the center. Let us assume. So here, let us draw here. This is the cube we assume. In this cube charge is placed at center relation. We are given that this is the 10 centimeter length, this is 10 centimeter length. The charge is placed in a 5 centimeter above it is given. Okay. So now we assume this charge is placed exactly center of the cube if we take. Flux through this cube equal to cube epsilon. But we need to find through one phase only, this shaded phase only, we need to find electric flux. Actually, this cube is enclosed by the six surfaces, six plane surfaces, so that uh, this flux through six phases, flux through six phases, we have shown, phases equal to Q by epsilon naught. That means through one phase, one phase is equal to one by six times of Q by epsilon naught. Okay, this Q is equal to 8.85 into 10 power, sorry, Q is given 10 micro, Q is given 10 micro, 10 into 10 power minus six divided by six into epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12. This, if we solve, you will get approximately 1.9 into 10 power 5 unit is Newton meter square per coulomb. 
let us go to next sum a point charge of two micro coulomb is at the center of a cubic gaussian surface 9 cm h what is the net electric flux through the surface now listen here one let us take one cubic gaussian surface in this cubic gaussian surface A charge of two micro coulomb is placed. Charge of two micro coulomb is placed. Then what is the flux through the surface? They are asking. Flux through the closed surface is equal to one by epsilon naught times of total charge enclosed with the surface. Here total charge is given two into ten power minus six. So two into ten power minus six divided by epsilon naught is eight point eight by into ten power minus twelve. So by simplifying this, you will get answer as. 2.2 into 10 power 5. Approximately, you will get 2.2 into 10 power 5 Newton meter square per coulomb. Now, let us solve next sum. A point charge causes an electric flux of minus 1 into 10 power 3 Newton per meter, Newton meter square per coulomb to pass through a spherical Gaussian surface of 10 centimeter radius centered on the charge. If the radius of the Gaussian surface were doubled, how much flux would pass through the surface? What is the value of the point charge? They are asking. So in these questions here, one Gaussian surface is there, spherical surface, 10 centimeter radius. Through that Gaussian surface, the minus 1 into 10 power 3 Newton per meter square, Newton meter square per column passes. They are asking. Now, if radius is doubled, then what is the flux through the surface? They are asking. According to Gauss law, flux through the closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of total charge enclosed by the closed surface. If you are doubling the radius of the Gaussian surface, inside the surface charge is not going to change. Charge remains constant, so that flux is constant, flux will not change. For first option, we are getting say minus 1 into 10 power 3 only. Second one, what is the value of the point charge that we can get? So here once again, we see the first part. Here charge Q is there. This radius 10 centimeter if you assume flux through this closed surface equal q by epsilon naught. It is independent of radius. If you are doubling the radius as a 20 centimeter, then also charge the same only. So that same flux only will be there. Q by epsilon naught, that is minus 1 into 10 power 3 newton meter square per coulomb. Second one, if you want to calculate, flux is equal to q by epsilon naught. Now we need to find q. So q is equal, what is that? Flux into epsilon naught we take. Flux is given minus 10 power 3 minus 10 power 3 into epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12. So here 10 power 3 and this 10 power minus 12 becomes 10 power 10 power 9. So this answer becomes minus 8.85. 10 power minus 9 we can write as a nano coulomb. So for this question, minus 8.88 in nano coulomb.